January the 31st, 2023. Guys, you're looking at power outages of the U.S. This is live at 6.32 p.m. tonight. Again, January 31st. Texas is being hit hard the worst with this ice storm. You can see uh, in the yellow there, it's they call the yellow 10,000 plus out. You go to orange, you're at 50,000. But Texas has, if you look in the bottom right, 30,239 reported power outages. California 5840, Arkansas 3011. Now, Arkansas is in the ice storm, uh, unlike California, that Texas is in. So is North Mississippi. So is Tennessee. But right now, the brunt of the power outages is showing here in Texas. Again, 30,239 out of 12,762,000. Small percentage. But guys, if you're part of that, 30,000 customers. And that's not 30,000 people, that's 30,000 residents or buildings. So you're probably looking at over 100,000 folks affected. Just a multiple of three that's simple. And so if you've got friends or family in the Texas, Arkansas, we're going to look at the radar and everything else. But in these, those areas, Tennessee, North Mississippi, especially the elderly, call and check on them. Make sure that they have adequate heat and um supplies things like that if the, your power goes out and you're not prepared you've been watching the super bowl or whatever you don't have any firewood together you don't have anything else call and check on those folks that are in these areas if you're there god bless you and uh all you can do is hunker down right now and try to stay warm trying to travel could be more deadly than trying to stay warm right now the roads are iced over if you uh, had been paid i know a lot of you have been you're there I was looking at webcams today from Dallas, and ice was covering the roads. People at that, this was early this morning now, people were having trouble getting up the uh, small hills in the cities and things like that, sliding back. And there's been some people that were killed in car wrecks, a lot of pileups. But uh, let's take a look at the radar and look at actually how many people are going to become involved in this. In the Northeast, my friends, you're about to get a dip in the Arctic vortex as this system swings up towards you. Canadian air coming off the, no uh, the North Pole or the Arctic is going to meet it right in your area. Now, before you say anything, I know that it is January 31st and we're in the middle of winter. Still, this is the southeast. In the pink, guys, you have winter storm warnings. In that purple, that is a ice storm warning. Hard freeze warm warnings are there, winter storm watches, winter storm warnings are there. But this dark purple that you see coming into North Mississippi, into Tennessee, through Arkansas, parts of Texas, ice storm warnings. That's important. You're going to, when you have that, you're going to be involved with uh, freeze warnings, busted pipes, and all of this is moving up through the Appalachians. As the Arctic vortex drops, I mentioned this about a week ago, I said watch for a break in the Arctic vortex. As you see that happen, you're going to, this area of the U.S. right here is going to kind of meet this uh, polar express and this moisture. And so you're going to have a, quite a bit of problems already. There's flight delays everywhere. Uh, Roads are being blocked. Uh, people can't get out. You don't need to get out. As with, with the things going on in this planet right now, you've got to learn to be prepared, not just for two or three days of an ice storm like we've seen or a couple of weeks of power outage and water outages like we saw in Katrina. What's going on right now with the West, NATO in the West, us, pushing war in Europe. You know, one of the main weapons, guys, is are EMPs, electromagnetic pulses, delivered by nuclear bombs or some type of bomb in the upper atmosphere. It takes out everything. When that happens, it's like the people in Texas now, the 30,000 residences and businesses that have no power. Are you prepared for that? I want you to think about what I'm telling you. It's very important because suddenly, say right now, your lights go out. You're somewhere that's not in the light out. Uh, section now where the power's out. But they go out and a day or two later, they're still out. A week later, they're still out. 
another week, they're still out, no water, no electricity, you will learn for two weeks, those two weeks I'm describing here in central Mississippi, 120 miles inland from where Hurricane Katrina hit the Gulf Coast and destroyed it, and New Orleans flooded. They got the water, we got the wind and water. Two weeks, guys, no power, no water. I became a prepper the next day. I already was, but not like I have been since that point. I'm ready, are you? And guys, when we talk about an electromagnetic pulse explosion, it can take out the grid in the U.S. that it's taken over 100 years to build, and it would take over 100 years to rebuild it if all the transformers and stuff were wiped out. It will go back to basically the uh, colonial days, campfires, cooking over fire, warming over fire, things like that. Solar panels will last for a while as long as you have batteries. Now, if you've got a strong enough solar bank or solar panel bank, you can pull power from that even without batteries during the daytime. So you, and it's going to be less than you would get with a battery bank fully charged, but it still can occur. You can put a panel out right now in the daytime without anything else and run a DC light. That's just how solar works. Panels usually last 10 to 20 years. We have them on bpearthwatch.com. has nothing to do with this video at all. But I just want you guys to think about it. Just the fact that uh, you can't, if something happens, you can't go over and turn that light switch on or have hot water or possibly any water at all. If you have a, uh, a community water system with the tanks that require a generator to pump the water into the tank very up high and then use gravity to feed it to all the homes and businesses. It just doesn't work that way. This is a warning, an early warning for a lot of folks that you see on this map about what could happen if the West continues to push Russia. Something I want to say here, and uh, I think it's becoming obvious worldwide, was the president of the EU came out and said, unless we defeat Russia, we will, no, we will not be able to achieve our new world order. In other words, he plainly said the silent part out loud. It's not about Ukraine. It's about attacking Russia because they will not bend a knee like you saw Pelosi and that group do a couple of years ago with some kind of uh, African or something uh, wrapped around them. Remember that, guys? And they all bowed a knee down. The, the camera never turned to see what they were bowing down to. Or who it was. Do you? Re I know you remember that. Was that about the most uh, eerie thing you've ever seen? And the most, um, I guess, cowardly thing you would ever see? Talk about bending your knee down to Satan and the Antichrist. Who was it? Who was standing there? Was it one of our current generals that is supposedly in charge of the Pentagon? Just a question. Who were they bowing down to in their African garb? What was that? Who was it? That's an important question. Now let's switch to satellite images over the U.S. This is what they call long-wave infrared. It's nighttime. You can see where the moisture is. Texas, you're still getting hit. Check this out. Uh, your northwest Louisiana. A good bit of Arkansas here in northwest Mississippi and all through Tennessee. All of this is going to move north. And this front that is plunging down from the north, guys, right here, is going to meet all of this here in the northeast. Snowmageddon, ice. Be prepared for it. I told you two weeks ago or a week and a half ago there was going to be a dip in the vortex if a section of it broke off and that's what we're seeing now so just be prepared I know you folks in the Northeast are much better prepared than 
us here in the South because you're used to it. We're not. We get caught off guard and all, but we learn very quickly. Again, wood burning heaters here, solar panels. Doesn't matter. The ice storm that hit Texas, not this last winter, but the one before. I've mentioned it before. We had two or three inches of ice on our deck here in central Mississippi. Had to break it off with the shovel. And uh, it lasted for two or three days. It was that cold. No power. Solar panels run our lights, our communications, TV, radio. Wood burning heater took care of the rest. That's how we are going to survive. The folks that will survive what's coming on this planet, as you notice, is cold air plunging through the Rockies and down along the Great Lakes. The only way you're going to survive is if you are prepared. If you're not prepared to survive, you are prepared to die. You're preparing to fail if you fail to prepare. Now's the time. I'm not pushing anything on our channel. That has nothing to do with this video. It, it's about you. The people that are awake can survive this because there's going to be a chaos that happens like Mad Max, a tsunami that moves across the planet as nations collapse into anarchy. That's what they want. And they expect that they can bring order out of that chaos. I think they've overestimated their ability somewhat because we know who is in charge. But the powers that be right now, including Russia, they are on full-scale war. Russia has to be. The rest of the West, uh, NATO, is all about forcing Russia into the new world order so they can have a complete glo or global takeover of every minute second of your life. They don't want you to be human. They want you to be like a robot with your card and your uh, carbon credit card and your digital currency. Well, they have everything. That's not going to happen, guys, but you have to be prepared for this tsunami of chaos. I've called this for 10 years, that we were going to come to a point that it, you would be left on your own. Now, there it, again, when I say Mad Max, I'm being very serious, guys, because after three days, the grocery stores will be empty. Three days of hunger, your best friends will turn against you, kill you, and take your food. Are you ready for that type of chaos? Are you prepared? Are you prepared to possibly have some supplies in one place and some supplies in another place in case one of your locations are found? If not, you're not fully prepared. It's better than nothing, but you've got to be aware that Folks are going to come and try to take what you have so that they can eat. Just like when we saw the donor pass happen in California. They thought they could get the wagon trains over that mountain and the snowstorm hit. Half of them lived because they ate the other half that had frozen to death. We're going to see those type scenarios all around this planet. You have the ability now to prepare yourself and your family You have time, let me say it like that. You have some time left. I don't know how long. Could be a month or two. Could be a day or two. As soon as the U.S. Can completely screws up and attacks Russia head on, I think the EMPs are going to fly. They're going to shut down power. And let me tell you something about an EMP shutting down power. It's a lot better than a neutron bomb blowing your city off the map and i think russia knows that uh, the people here disagree with the government as much as they do we know that we're being run by demons they were not elected the illegal justice system has allowed this they're in on it we're surrounded it is a minority of unelected bureaucrats that are running the majority of the people on this map and around the planet those days will change 
and I think um, something like an EMP. Malachi chapter 4. A coronal mass ejection will shut down their power grid. They're going to try to use AI, the satellites, all of that to have complete control over every carbon credit that they think you deserve. You say one word out of line and you won't eat that month. You won't buy gas. Your ATM will not work with your new digital card. That's what they want. Now, our Lord and Savior has different plans, but Babylon will fall. Let's not fall with it. We're watching it, guys. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.